The season of multi-classing is finally here. Oh, well, that was quick. Multi-classing is finally over, and we can all say it was fun trying out builds, but it was horribly balanced. Iron Mace has taken out multi-classing to work on a better system, but instead of making a balanced or limited multi-class system, I would like for them to try out a subclass or some sort of skill tree system. Multi-classing had a ton of problems and I feel like a subclass system would fix a lot of these problems. In this video, I want to go over the three big problems multi-classing brought and how a subclass system could fix it. But before I get into it, I want to preface, I know nothing about game developing or balancing. I just want to see Dark and Darker succeed. So let's talk about the first problem of multi-classing, which is the balance. As a solo player, the meta of movement speed and damage got even worse. The only builds that you saw were ones that stacked a bunch of damage like Slayer, Ambush, and Smite that also use Sprint, or one that stacked a bunch of defense like Iron Will, Anti-Magic, and Robust. Oh, and also use Sprint as well. It was nearly impossible to try creative builds because you risked getting killed in seconds at any range. These toxic builds ended up getting perks and skills nerfed. Smite, Blow Corruption, Ambush. You could make an argument some of these things needed a nerf, but let's take Smite for example. Cleric is already unplayable in solos because it's so extremely slow, and you could say it's fairly balanced in duos. Nerfing these perks and skills because they are broken on another class, it's going to hurt many players, such as new players, people trying to level up classes, and people who only want to main one class. We could have a nerfed version of perks and skills for multi-classing, but it would be much better creating new perks and skills that create more diverse and fun playstyles. And this is why I think a subclass system would fix a lot of balance issues. I'm going to use an example of skill trees from ARPGs like The Last Epoch. Let's look at the skill tree for Meteor. You can see one of the nodes is Piercing Remnants. Shrapnel projectiles pierce. They continue through targets they hit, but they travel slower. Or this one called Twin Meteors. It adds an additional meteor that falls within a 4 meter radius of the first one, but meteor costs much more mana. Or we have this one, Meteor Shower. You have more meteors fall per cast, but individual meteors deal damage in a smaller area. All of these skill nodes have something in common. Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain, something of equal value must be lost. Well said, Alphonse. There's a downside with each upside to all of these skill nodes. Now, how can we apply this to Dark and Darker? Well, let's look at the trio's meta. It has been dominated by the buff ball for a long time. How can we fix this using a subclass system? Well, we can make Wizard and Bard buffs self-cast only. They can choose a support subclass which lets them use buffs on teammates, but they lose 20% damage. Now teams have to choose between more utility or more damage. Then enemy teams can now worry less about getting chain lightninged or fireballed for 60% of their HP. Now let's talk about another big balance issue in Dark and Darker, Rogues. The landmine meta has been a contentious issue, but some people want to play that stealthy assassin-like playstyle. What if rogues can use hide, but they couldn't have burst damage perks and skills like ambush or weak point, but every hit they get when they come out of hide, it reduces the cooldown of hide. So for example, if you hit a player three times, you can use hide again to either re-engage on the enemy or run away. This encourages a skill gap where if you end up missing all of your hits, 
then you get severely punished by having hide on a full cooldown. There is endless possibilities in helping create balance against toxic playstyles people don't enjoy going against. A subclass system will make people actually think about different ways of building and playing instead of putting on the highest damage perks and just holding W key at everyone. The second problem people had with multi-classing is classes having no more class identity. If you saw someone, you had no idea what they had. You could have thrown 10 fireballs at a fighter and died because they had anti-magic, iron will, and robust. Or you could have chased down a rogue just for them to turn around, pop savage roar, and divine protection, and three shot you while you did five damage to them. There would be no way for you to know until the moment you died. Not only this, but people choose the classes they play because their playstyle and design is fun for them. I play wizard because I enjoy slinging 10 different spells at enemies, not because it turns into the best melee class with Staff Mastery, Blow of Corruption, and Dark Reflection. This would be fixed with a subclass system because you're keeping the identity of the class but mixing up the playstyle. For wizard, you could have something like an ice wizard that focuses on defense while a fire wizard is more damage focused. And other players could easily tell what they are going against when they see a wizard casting a spell so they can already start figuring out how to play against it. Not only that, but you aren't punishing players who want to play only that class. If you ran a pure fighter build, you are at a major disadvantage than a fighter using barbarian or other class perks. It's a win-win for everyone. Now for the last and probably the worst problem was the extremely long grind. Even with the multiple patches making it easier to level up, it still felt like a chore. You had to grind every class you wanted to multi-class with to level 30. Then you had to grind even higher than level 30 to start getting your tokens. Then you had to grind even higher to grind for even more perks and skills to get the exact build you wanted. And when you get to a high enough level, you can finally spend all of your tokens and then you end up breaking your build. <laughs> So the hundreds of hours you put in leveling up characters and getting tokens, you have to wait even longer to reset your tokens. But with subclasses, you are leveling up the character you want to play and you'll be able to get a cool new subclass to make the class more unique and more fun. You won't be forced to play a class you don't enjoy for hours and hours just for you to destroy your keyboard. And the amazing thing about subclasses is it fixes the problems of people not wanting to play certain classes. If Iron Mace creates a cool subclass that interests you for a class you don't really enjoy, you might be more inclined to play it because now you actually have a reason to play it and you might end up having fun with it. And that's why I think we should try out a subclass system. Thank you all for watching the video. If you guys agree with everything I said, or if you think there's another way to fix multi-classing, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.